Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now not only is the RX 6500 XT the cheapest new AMD graphics card you can buy right now, at least it's supposed to be, it's currently the lowest cost GPU to support ray tracing. Battlefield 2042, which otherwise runs with a decent average frame rate at the medium settings, implements a single ray tracing option which is ray traced ambient occlusion. This enhances in-game shadows and it's certainly noticeable though not worth the performance hit with this graphics card. That said, as the sole RT option, the frame rate doesn't crawl to a complete halt, not at least all the time, but the average and frame times do suffer quite significantly. Then again, it's what I expected. This video is more about showing you that ray tracing can be utilised, not that it should be, which will probably become clearer as we move on to the next AAA titles. I really like Cyberpunk's utilisation of ray tracing and with all the options enabled including the ultra lighting effect, the visual changes are easy to spot. I particularly like the way that the neon covered buildings reflect in the panels of the cars. Now as you might expect this absolutely tanks the performance with the 4GB 6500 XT. Sometimes this game hits just one frame per second, but it never freezes completely which I suppose is a positive. <laughs> that said, the recent 1.5 update has seen the introduction of AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, which means we can choose to render the game at a lower internal resolution and have it upscale to the native res of the monitor. The preset you choose, which goes from ultra quality all the way down to ultra performance, will depend on how low the aforementioned rendering resolution is. I thought it would be quite amusing and quite fascinating if we could turn our one frame per second, well, about six on average, into at least 30 while keeping ray tracing set close to the in-game highest. Again, should you do this? Probably not, but you can do it. Prepare your eyes. By using the ultra performance preset we can hit a 30 FPS average with some significant dips. I'm not sure what the resolution is it's actually rendering at. 480p maybe? 360p? All I know is that anything higher and you'll be getting a sub 30 FPS experience almost all of the time. Realistically, all ray tracing options are best kept disabled, but I just find the idea of using it at super low resolutions really interesting. Mesmerizing in a way. Resident Evil Village benefits from GI and reflection as well as light reflection options, both of which were set to mid for my testing. Darkened areas with singular light sources benefit particularly well and shadows are improved. Everything seems warmer in a way, more cosy, which is ironic considering I took this screenshot and then got brutally murdered. Speaking of brutal, the frame rate gets totally destroyed. The performance FSR mode certainly helps, but ultimately it can't save us here. If you really wanted to use ray tracing with a card like this, you could turn a few of the RT specific settings down, but that lessens the added effects even more, making enabling it even more pointless, as if that wasn't the case already. Cyberpunk though does still look very nice with RT lighting at medium, under normal circumstances anyway. FSR will of course help in supported games too, but you could of course lower the standard game settings as well, if they go any lower. It does help, but again, if you do get a 6500 XT, enjoy it for what it is, a 1080p no frills gaming card best suited to PCI Express 4.0 systems. The fact that it has ray tracing support is surprising, and it can be utilised in certain situations, but the other sacrifices needed to achieve playable frame rates or close to them really isn't worth it. I think we all knew that, and I think you knew that when actually starting up this video, but it was fun to mess around with these settings nonetheless, and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.